Good day. I'm Chef Winston, executive chef and owner of Catering CC. Today, I'm gonna bring you a pasta dish made with Alfredo sauce. This particular sauce, I'm gonna take one sauce and make two types of dishes. One dish would be a Cajun or blackened, blackened chicken Alfredo with a roasted garlic and a pesto shrimp Alfredo, all tossed in a penne pasta. One sauce, two totally different types of dishes. So let's get started. What I have is some chicken breasts that was flattened out and we're gonna season it with some Cajun seasoning. Season it on both sides. This is a very easy and flavorful dish. Something you can have on weekday. You can have one dish, one sauce, and you have two dishes for the week. Very, very easy. Season it with some Cajun seasoning, and we're gonna blacken this, okay? Come on over to the stove. We're gonna add some olive oil into a non-stick pan, and we're gonna start searing it. Wow, look at that. We're gonna start searing it, we're gonna cook it. So now while that's cooking, we're gonna start the Alfredo sauce. Very, very simple. I've got a pot here. First, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some EVOO, some really good extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're gonna add some butter, unsalted butter to the pan. Get that butter melted and keep your eyes on your chicken at the same time, okay? Oh, look at that nice crusted Cajun. It's not too hot, we don't want it black, okay? Be careful with that. And from there, we're gonna add some chopped garlic. Mmm, can smell the aroma of that. Chopped garlic. So while that garlic is there, getting nice and flavorful and rendered down, we're gonna add about a quart of heavy cream. Very, very easy sauce to make. This sauce is gonna take you on different levels. You can make three, four different types of dishes with this sauce, very simple. I'm gonna show you two of them. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Check our chicken out. See if it's cooked, just about cooked. That's almost ready. Okay, the cream is boiling right now. Nice boil. Oh yeah, chicken is looking good. So from here, what I'm gonna do is add some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Grated Parmesan cheese, okay? We don't wanna make it too thick. And if you notice, I didn't put any salt because Parmesan cheese has a lot of salt to it. So once I add that, bring it back to a boil, you're gonna see it start to thicken up. Okay? This is looking really, really good right now. Oh, look at that. It's already starting to thicken up. You can always add more cheese. Right now, I think this is what I'm looking for. Beautiful. So we're gonna put this on a simmer, and we're gonna start assembling the two types of dishes we're gonna make with this one sauce. Here we go. Wow, this chicken is fully cooked. We're gonna remove this chicken. Let's set this stove right here on medium. We're coming right back to use this. Come on over here. We're gonna julienne this chicken breast. Okay. Oh man, I couldn't help it. I gotta taste it. Mmm. Flavorful. Flavor, flavor, flavor. You guys gonna enjoy this. Mmm, 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 mmm. So once we julienne this chicken, we're gonna go back to our stove and make this beautiful dish. Here we go. Come back over here. Same stove, same pan we did the chicken into, okay? Little bit of olive oil. Little bit of sliced 
garlic. Remember, you got garlic in our sauce already? We added more. I love garlic. What we're gonna do right now, we're toasting it. This is gonna go very quick. Quick, easy dish. So toasting this garlic. Beautiful, beautiful. The aroma, mmm! I can't wait to taste this. From there, I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes, chopped scallions, and some of the chicken into that same dish. That's about enough. Mix it around. Look how beautiful and colorful this looks. It smells amazing. And from here now, we're gonna take some of our beautiful Alfredo sauce that we made just now. We're gonna add this beautiful Alfredo sauce to the chicken. Beautiful vegetables, nice and colorful. Right behind that, I'm gonna add some cooked pasta. I cooked some penne pasta for this particular dish. Some cooked pasta, cooked al dente. Beautiful. And we're gonna toss that up. Mm, 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 mm. How luscious does this look? I'm gonna add a little more sauce, just a tad bit. I like my stuff saucy. I'm gonna taste it behind the hand. Need a little salt, not much, just a little bit of salt. Beautiful. That should do it. And I'm gonna finish it with some fresh basil. Fresh basil, and I'm gonna plate this up. This is, this is dish number one. Dish number one. Now we're gonna do a shrimp. Well, just before I do the shrimp, this is very optional. I like to add roasted garlic to this dish. What I did, I roasted some garlic. I cut a whole clove of garlic, cut it, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, roasted in the oven about 20 minutes, and this is what I got. Some pure, fresh, sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Garlic on top of there. How good does this look? So once you stick your fork in there and get a piece of garlic, that sweet, buttery garlic is gonna complement this very, very well. I cleaned out the other pan. Now we're gonna do a second dish. This one is a shrimp pesto alfredo. A little bit of olive oil to the pan, non-stick pan. I've got some beautiful shrimp. Add the shrimp to the pan. We're gonna cook this. Season the shrimp. We gotta make sure it make it taste. We gotta make sure it tastes good, okay? All right. While that shrimp is there popping, guess what? We gotta add some more garlic, baby. More garlic. That's right. Get that nice and toasty. Get the shrimp cooking. These are both one pan meals. Very simple. This shrimp is looking good. From here, what I like to do, add a little bit of white wine. Pull it off, cause alcohol will flame. Not too much. Look at that. Basically, I'm deglazing. Mm, beautiful, it's looking really, really good. Now from there, the same sauce. Add the sauce right to the shrimp pan. While that's simmering, pesto. We're gonna add some pesto. Work that pesto in. Yeah, baby. It's gonna give you a nice, beautiful, greenish looking color. And at the same time, this is not on high. The temperature of this, the temperature of this is more like on a medium. Just want to simmer it. 
You see, it's getting thicker because of the cheese. Let's taste this. Better taste this a little. Wow. This is very beautiful. I'm gonna add some more pesto. I like pesto, I like, I like the flavor of pesto. Those who don't know what pesto is, pesto is basically fresh basil, toasted pine nuts, and Parmesan cheese. Whipped in a blender and finished with some olive oil. And this is what you get, pesto. So from there, we're gonna add our pasta. Add some fresh pasta to this. Turn the stove off. Mm, 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 mm. How luscious does this look? And I like to finish this with fresh buffalo mozzarella. Okay? Mozzarella cheese. Mm mm mm. Oh, there we go. Then we're gonna plate this up. Beautiful pesto shrimp alfredo with some fresh mozzarella. Yeah! Beautiful. And I'm gonna finish this with some fresh pignoli nuts. That is pine nuts. Oh yes, time to taste it. This looks amazing. Good, and here we go. The finished dishes. I'm just finishing it up with some nice garlic rosemary bokasha bread. A little bit of cheese. Mm, 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 mm. How beautiful does this look? We gotta taste it. But we got, once again, one sauce. An Alfredo sauce that was very easy to make that produced these two beautiful pasta dishes. This one was a Cajun chicken Alfredo with a roasted garlic. The garlic, roasted garlic is optional. I like a lot of garlic, so I added that in there. And the second one is a shrimp pesto Alfredo with some pine nuts and I had some fresh mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella cheese mixed inside. So let's taste it. What I got here is a piece of pasta, piece of garlic, and piece of chicken. Stick it inside there. Let's taste. Mmm, winner, winner. So many flavors are happening. I can taste the roasted garlic. It's not garlicky by all means. Nice roast to it. The Cajun. Mmm, 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 mmm. And the Alfredo sauce. Piece of bread, of course. You guys will love this. Next dish, the shrimp pesto alfredo. Piece of shrimp. Get some of that pine nuts that I garnish it with. Nice, smooth, silky. Ah, oh, good. You guys will love this. So go on ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Looking forward to hearing your great comments and let me know how it came out. Cheers.